cozy as the softest musk ox in Alaska, with the warmest fur you did ever you ever did feel. When a storm hits while his family while he's separated from his family, he starts to feel lonely, but not for long. As the snow piles up, animals start to notice just how warm and cozy cozy really is. One mama lemming has a bright idea. Maybe the best place to spend the winter is under Cozy's fur. Hey reading friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie, and this is Maggie Reads. I hope wherever you're watching from, in school, at home on a break from remote learning, or just hanging out relaxing, that you've had an awesome day. We are once again in my reading nook, and today we're reading the new release, Cozy, written and illustrated by Jan Brett. Storms rolled over the tundra when Cozy the musk ox was separated from his herd. He was used to being with his family. His mother and his father had named him Cozy because his silky coat was so soft and thick. Cozy braced himself against the wind and his thick coat warmed him like a blanket. In a tussock, a mother lemming's pups were squeaking loudly. I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm cold. She, would, she used a triple carry to tunnel them toward a new spot where she saw a towering mountain of fur in no time, the Lemming family settled in next to Cozy's left hoof. Shh, she whispered, quiet voices, and that musk ox will never notice us. Snowshoe Hare, feeling chilly, had the same idea. Master musk ox, he asked politely, may I wait out the storm under the protection of your very thick coat? Cozy was happy for the company, and well aware that a lemming family had snuck in. He said, Welcome, Snowshoe Hare, but mind those lemmings. Quiet voices and gentle thumping only. Snow swirled and thump. Suddenly all grew white. Was it a clump of snow that had hit Cozy on the forehead? No, it was feathers. When Cozy opened his eyes, he was looking into big yellow ones. The eyes belonged to a snowy owl who had also had a request. Oh, magnificent Oming Mac, will you, be, will you be so kind as to give me shelter? The wind has tumbled me terribly. Cozy knew that snowy owls and lemmings and snowshoe hares were not always fast friends. But he agreed with some conditions. House rules are quiet voices, gentle thumping, and claws to yourself. Arctic Fox's nose was turning blue. Her bushy tail wasn't warm enough, and every time she wrapped it around herself, the wind unwrapped it. Thinking Cozy would make a good windbreak, she slid it up to him. Think, think, do you mind, Mr. Muskox, if I unfreeze my nose in your thick fluff? Cozy was happy to welcome a new guest, but eyeing her sharp canines, he answered, for the harmony of all, quiet voices, gentle thumping, cause to yourself, and no biting. As winter went by, the storms grew worse. The wind blew and blew, and a low, humpy shape, a humpy shape appeared, swaying and shuffling. Its coat was covered with ice balls. Shaggy beast, it growled. I fell into an ice flow. I am chilled to the bone. Can you help me? Cozy was happy to invite the wolverine in, but added to house rules. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, clutch yourself, no biting and no pouncing. Cozy's new friends cleaned their clothes, preened their feathers, napped, and were glad for their comfy shelter. But then above the wind, the animals heard, yep, yep, yep. A team of huskies, always on the lookout for a good thing, barreled into Cozy's big bulk. 
flinging the creatures in all directions. Their musher, a sea otter, looked on in dismay. Hi, the dog leader grinned. House rules, chorus, the jostle lemmings, snowshoe hare, snowy owl, arctic fox, and wolverine. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, close to yourself, no biting, no pouncing, and be mindful of others. Cozy, wary of the lead dog, who looked a lot like a wolf, shook, shook, shook his thorns, his horns to make sure the huskies understood. As time went by, the wind calmed a little, and the Arctic sun climbed higher in the sky. The animals felt more at home every day, but Cozy had spring fever. I want to find my family. How can I move about with these visitors underfoot? The house rules were stretched every day. One was a nibble, a bite. One was a hoot, quiet or loud. There was bumping, making faces, and nobody was saying, I'm sorry. One sunny day, the lemmings were playing climb the ladder. A great chunk of, a great chunk of Cozy's coat came off. Then another Hank came off in Snowy's town. Snowy Owl's talons. Cozy remembered this from last year. Shedding meant it was finally spring in Alaska. Hank by Hank, all of Cozy's warm, silky winter coat drifted down the slope. Cozy's lodgers started heating to their spring homes. Cody hadn't, Cozy hadn't felt so free and breezy since he was a calf. He jumped he gambled, and then in the middle of a gleeful jeep leap, he saw his herd. He ran to join his mother, his father, his sister, and his brother. Where were you? We were worried, said his sister Fluffy. We missed you, said his brother snugly. I made some new friends, Cozy told them, but it was nice to get back to musk ox ways. They all formed a circle, babies in the middle, but Cozy felt curiously alone. Then the breeze carried, squeaking and growly, whistling voices. See you next year, Cozy. Me when the snow flies, Cozy. The snowshoe hare thump, thump, thumped as they all called. We can't wait to get Cozy with Cozy. I hope you enjoyed me reading Cozy. If you did and you would like to add it to your collection, a link to the book is in the description below. Also, click that like button. It really helps me to know what books you've enjoyed, since YouTube channels like mine, whose content is made for kids, can't receive comments anymore. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. And if you're a new viewer, please consider clicking subscribe or asking your parents to on their account. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TV and my website at maggiereads.com. Thanks for watching. Stay, stay safe and healthy. See you next time.